I want to begin by first thanking JK County Farm Bureau for putting this event together and giving us all the opportunity to introduce, introduce ourselves to you, the voters, and enjoy some hot dogs and potato chips and soda. Uh, I'm Mark West, and after much prayer and consideration, I've decided to run as a libertarian candidate for U.S. House District 4. I'm married to a wonderful woman. Uh, she works as a school nurse in Batesville. I'm a father to three awesome children, two of which are working with me on the campaign today. Uh, my youngest is with my wife, uh, or my daughter and my wife are together. They're headed to a gymnastics meet. Uh, they're going to go catch uh, that hockey movie Risen this afternoon on the way. Uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, I pastor a small Southern Baptist church in a family farming community called Full Trough. Some of you may have heard of it. I've served in the ministry for 15 years, and what the ministry has taught me is that matter because people matter to Jesus Christ. I've also experienced the frustration that a lot of you have as we watch the political and the mass media all talk about how everything has to be politically correct, how you can't stand for Jesus Christ and be proud of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, I'm tired of people telling me I have to be ashamed of Jesus Christ to talk about politics. I'm not ashamed of my faith, and none of you should be ashamed of your faith. Sad thing that they try to kick her the rug and they try to hide the fact that Christianity and Christians did a lot to build this nation and the great nation it is today, and that faith is due to the respect it deserves. I've worked for nearly a decade as a corporate office manager for a family run small business. We do repair on coal and gas uh, power plants. We do this all over the country. We also work on uh, steel mills, paper mills. Uh, in this job, I've learned just how major an impact very small changes make. When you have Congress, or you have a federal agency, change the law, pass a rule, change the tax, change regulation, small businesses, small farms hurt in major ways. And uh, that is something that I have learned in that business. I also worked for five years in banking, so I know just how important your pocketbook is to you. I believe in financial fiscal responsibility. You got to have a small budget. I pastor a very small church and we operate without a budget because there's not enough money to budget. So I understand what it is to be fiscally responsible and fiscally accountable. I'm a proud product of District 1 in Arkansas. I was born and raised in the Mississippi River Delta, uh, West Memphis, Arkansas. I graduated at Blue Devil. And then I spent the next five years here in Jonesboro where I studied at Arkansas State University. Got my degree. Got a very beautiful wife. And then I went into the ministry and have been in the ministry ever since uh, in Independence County in the Batesville area. But enough about me. As I speak today, our nation's in trouble. Our nation sits with $19 trillion in debt, and that number is going up. It's not going down. Nearly 100 million working age Americans can't find a job. 50 million Americans live in poverty. The U.S. Congress has an approval rating that sits around 10%. That means one out of every 10 of you actually likes the job that Congress is doing as a whole. Research shows that two out of every three of you listening to my voice today would actually vote for somebody else other than your income and if you actually know that you had a better choice of man. I believe I know why. We all watch TV and we've seen that special interests and lobbyists make sure that we're trapped right where we are. They make sure that we only get to see the options that they are putting on the table. They control the purse, spring, purse strings of the elections. Aside from that, they make sure that the economy is rigged. They make sure that your Congress keeps cash flowing from your pockets and the holdings of wealthy investors and special interests and lobbyists. They make sure they have financial security while you struggle for job security. Our family farms have struggled and shut down while big farms and Chicago investors benefit more from the strings attached to crop insurance than they do. Family farmers may own land, but what they can do with it really depends on how they want to get it insured. That's the dirty little secret of the farm bill. A lot of your family farms struggle to keep the insurance. They struggle to pay the bills and they wind up shutting down. This is part of the reason I've decided to run for Congress. As I said, I'm from, I'm from a family farming community. I'm watching firsthand what's happening. You deserve to have someone who's willing to fight for you in Washington. You will see a clear difference when you send me to Washington because I will fight against special interests. I will fight against lobbyists. I will fight against corporate welfare. I will fight against pony capitalism. 
I will fight against big businesses that want to use tax loopholes, that want to use federal regulations to crush small farms, to crush small business and corner the market so the little guy gets stuck with the bill. That's not right. I'm going to Washington to fight for you. And I'm also going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for your jobs. I'm going to fight for your family businesses. I'm going to fight for your small businesses. I'm going to fight for the family farmer, and I'm going to fight for your future. I've watched these small businesses of all sorts have struggled to stay alive under the unreasonable regulations and mandates that have become so popular in Washington. I've watched Democrats blame Republicans. I've watched Republicans blame Democrats about lack of jobs and who can do the economy, this, that, and other. They blame each other about everything. Meanwhile, everything gets worse. More people don't have jobs, and all they do is stand there and point fingers. Regardless of who's in control of Congress or the White House, we name a time recently is good. And besides that, the debt level just keeps going up. Regardless of the Democrats in control of Congress, Republicans in control of Congress, your debt keeps going up. My children now owe $42,000 apiece as their share of the national debt. Imagine being born in the world today and you owe $42,000 before you've ever been hugged by your mom for the first time. I've watched as we lose, and honestly, I'm tired of watching us lose. That's why you have a clear difference between Washington and you also have a clear direction. Right now, we lose on jobs, we lose on trade, we lose on education, we lose on guns, we lose on religion. We've lost so much recently that I have personally lost sight of what it felt like to grow up in a country that wins. Honestly, it makes me angry when I think about what's happened to American jobs. These trade agreements have sent American jobs overseas. Good paying jobs, manufacturing jobs have gone overseas. And now our Congress has voted to give President Barack Obama the fast track on TPP, which is another trade agreement. Guess what that means? Less American jobs. More good paying, hard working American jobs are going overseas. It's like they're doing the jobs out of the deck of cards. As the national debt continues to spiral out of control, all we get from Washington are we get Washington answers. We don't get real solutions. So if you'll send me to Washington, you'll have a clear direction. We'll fight to save jobs. We will work together to again make small businesses the amazing centers of job creation and production that our economy desperately needs. We can do this, but we have to begin by ripping away the layers of artificial regulation that do nothing but favor special interests and lobbies at the expense of small family farms and small businesses. I'm going to work for a balanced budget and to reduce our national debt. Those will be real priorities for me, not just something I say when I stand and talk to you. I'll fight against budgets like the one that was just agreed to that benefits more special interests, more lobbyists, and more partisanship at the expense of hardworking Americans like you. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of working for a Congress that props up special interests and lobbyists that drop Washington. I think it's time for Congress to start working for hardworking Americans. I'm refusing any and all special interest donations, lobbyist donations, I don't want them. Anybody donates to my campaign, I want to be private individual citizens. The average donation of my campaign is been 23 bucks. Because I want you to know that if you send me to Washington, I go with no strings attached. I go as your congressman. I go to represent your interests. We can fix America. We can bring jobs back to America. But we've got to work together. We've got to pull together. We've got to hold Congress to the limits the Constitution has put on Congress. That will help us restore the localism that made America great once and can make America great again. I am the only candidate in this race to fight to protect the entire Constitution. I'll do this because the Constitution and Bill of Rights keep your government from running your life. Why? Because I believe you know how best to run your life, not some federal person in Washington, not some bureaucrat, not some regulator. I'll fight for your right to free the expression of religion. I'll fight for your right to own guns. I'll fight for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'll fight for the best health care available for our veterans because they earned it and they deserve to come home. So take a moment, check out my website, www.markwestforcongress.com. Stand with me by donating to my campaign and volunteering so I have the support I need to keep fighting for you. 
I'd love to hear from you. Please stop by my table, send me an email. I promise I'll take the time to listen and respond to you. I'm giving you a clear difference, a clear direction, and a clear decision. And that is to vote for Mark West in November 2016. Thank you so much for your time.